Pebble, uh, I know that uh, there was speculation that you could be traded, but uh, when the move happened, what were your thoughts and what were your thoughts specifically about coming to the Blues? Uh, I don't know, like we talk about uh, about trade, but in a week, maybe a couple, couple of weeks, Edgeon called me and I was say like, uh, when things happen, like GM called me and like say, congratulations, you got, you been in St. Louis. So that's it. I'm, I'm just happy it's happened. It's, I don't need to wait anymore. And I know where I've been like next four years. And what are your thoughts about the Blues? Do you know anything about them or do you like their style of play? You think you'll fit in well? Uh, I think it's a good team. Like two years ago, I was ever in Cup. I know that. I was, uh, have a, a lot of good players. Uh, obviously, tough to play. Um, and I'm a good goaltender. Uh, but I you know. I hope I play a big role there and uh, help the team to win. Pavel, were you comfortable with, uh, obviously, contract negotiations, looking for a longer-term extension? Was that important for you to get done here pretty quickly with St. Louis, too? Uh, it's, it's not long, long talking with, uh, about the contract. It's like uh, where you can ask me how much, uh, how long I want a contract, and like we pretty quick decide. It's really quicker than I expect, honestly. Pavel, you've played uh, your five years in New York all on the right side. Do you feel most comfortable on the right side, or can you play left also? Uh, I play most times in the right. Uh, I don't know. I feel comfortable there. Uh, comfortable there. And uh, when like things doesn't go well in, uh, during the game, like you know, third period, like ten minutes left or something, we like switch lines a lot, and uh, if I am comfortable there play left or something like that if I need to but uh, obviously right is more comfortable for me I don't know every Russian I think in uh, Europe guys play offside you know I know it's comfortable for me too Pavel have you heard from any uh, blues players since the uh, the trade um, I talked to Barbashev yesterday I talked to Tarasenko maybe three, four days ago. And uh, some guys like text, text me like, uh, congratulations on the trade, congratulations on the deal, like uh, Tory Crook, Peron, Shen, O'Reilly text yesterday. Mm -hmm. Pareka, uh, Pareka, Pareka, I think text too. Yeah, do you, uh, do you know Barbashev pretty well? I, I, as I recall, you, you played in some uh, world junior, some junior tournaments with him. Yeah, I play with him. He played a like, pretty good game. Uh, I, was, uh, I play against him. It's hard to play against like a physical, physical player, good player, good PK killer. Talk a little bit with him about the team. He say all the only good things. Pavel, you've been a good player for a number of years now, but a lot of people think that at age 26, you're really putting it together and the Blues are getting you at a, at a really good time. Do you feel like you're the most all-around player you've been at this point? Uh, I think so, too. I think so, yeah. Uh, plus, year I play big minutes, play PK. Uh, first time in five years, maybe six in Russia. Last couple of years, it doesn't play PK, too. Now we try, last year we tried to play me there and obviously it's work. So eat big minutes there too and, you know, help, help not only offensively and defensively too. Last year, hope it's keep going there. What was it like uh, playing the PK? Uh, did, did you enjoy it? Pretty, pretty hard work doing that. Mm, I don't know if you're smart, it's not really hard work. You have to read the game pretty well. Where it's like against some teams, obviously, like uh, we have like in our division last year, like good power play guys, like Philadelphia play pretty good play, P -P -P Washington, good P -P 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 always Boston, and like I don't know, we are top 10 all the time, so it's kind of work for us. Have you played much power play during your time with the Rangers? Uh, I played first season a lot, but after that, I've been only PP2. 
So I don't know. I would say if it's happened, I would like to play more PP P- 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 minutes. Pavel, I heard that uh, David Quinn called you uh, Captain Happy. Can can you talk about your personality and maybe how you like to keep it fun and bring guys together? Uh, I don't know why they start calling me like Captain Happy. So I don't know, like maybe, you know, when you get older, you a little bit change your personality. And uh, last, maybe last year, last maybe two years, I changed my personality. It doesn't do like a lot of that stuff, not too emotional. Uh, first, maybe three, three and a half seasons, like kind of be emotional, like when things doesn't go well, like maybe sometimes too much, but now we're getting older and like settle down a, a bit and try to be like, uh, I don't know, try to be good teammate. And I don't know how to how explain it. Maybe like after that, like I, not happy or something, and after after that he called me like I'm Captain Happy. I don't know. You, you probably need to ask him why why he called me. Pavel, you'd known only the Rangers until this trade. What was there a little bit of a shock or surprise that you you'd be going somewhere else when you first found out about it? No, I kind of I know it's speculation about that too. Like uh, I did some articles. Some guys text me, and I kind of know why. We're looking for trade, but when they, when it's like a draft coming, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but this trade happened. Happened. I'm happy to be in St. Louis. Where are you now? Are you are you in Russia now? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Chiripovets hometown, my hometown. Mm-hmm. What what's the timetable? When do you think you'll be uh, be in St. Louis? Uh, I think early September, maybe 10 or something, 5, 10 September.